Good morning, everybody. I'm a little bit late to this Apex Legends launch trailer. The reason is I was on a flight back from Vegas. And the flight got delayed, there was a whole thing. This one person was like yelling at somebody else like on a wheelchair, it was crazy. But I'm here, finally, and now we can check out the Apex Legends Ignite launch trailer. Will we see Conduit's abilities? Will we get more backstory? Will we get more understanding of what her touching the battery of a Titan meant? Because that happened in the last trailer. Touching a radioactive battery shouldn't give you powers and I feel like it's, it's kind of stupid. Sure, we have goo and gas and all these other things that like, you know, aren't really scientific, but at least they're there was some kind of explanation to them. Anyway, enough ranting about that. Let's check out this trailer right now. A boat strikes the uneasy ground, sending down a shadowy figure. Fate whispers to the legend. Oh. A storm is coming. The legend bellows back. I am the storm. Oh, damn. She has like electric powers? Oh. Uh, wait. Grapple is juice. That's funny. Hey, good point. Should make it lighter. Oh, hey, what if you made it Mirage trying to like help help her launch? Fine. I'll give you showy. How much more showy can you get? Oh. Moana out here. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rev's got bars. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Gibby's the number one supporter out here, dude. Maybe the question isn't, is it right? But is it you? See? What makes you a legend? Absolute daddy, dude. What makes me a legend? Ooh, Titanfall art in the back there. You saw that? Okay. Freaking Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare there. What was that? Semper Fi or die, right? What are... How did she live that? Did, she, did they like... Live in the dream, now that's one is that her ability to like just survive explosions and stuff with unscathed? Like it. Love it, love it. Uh, for next time though, uh, can I play more of a leading role? And, and what if we just, you know, throwing this out here, lose the spiders, you know, for Gibraltar. My story, my spiders. Mirage canonically, Mirage canonically has arachnophobia. Ignite gameplay trailer on 1026. Okay, so I guess we're going to be streaming that. So if you guys come through twitch.tv slash macro, I will be streaming this on, is that three days from now? Thursday. I'll be streaming this on Thursday. Let's uh, rewatch that and, and talk about some parts of it. So obviously her kit seems to be electricity related. I mean, maybe this is just an exaggerated aspect of it. She probably can't just explode and be like Pikachu when Pikachu's mad that Ash died. You know what I'm talking about? Pikachu gets like angry and then like goes off. I mean, her name is literally Conduit. I hope there is actually electrical parts involved. I also hope there's something to do with the Monarch titan that was a prominent aspect of the last trailer but i don't see the correlation i don't see like how we get from that titan to this character grapple juice is funny apex you got to be selling this grapple juice i love it it's like there's an endorsement deal pathfinder has endorsement deals now like that's super cool okay i gotta hear that song again i gotta see revenant sing again dude hope, tell me that this doesn't give you moana vibes and also, like, making the first Filipino character, like, a karaoke queen? Come on. Come on. That's amazing. Just, this whole image is just so funny. Revenant singing. Who could ask for anything more? No. <laughs> Why is Revenant such a softy, low-key? Like, Re Revenant's low-key a softy, dude. Mirage saves Conduit, Mirage saves the world, Mirage saves the universe, and just big no. It's the three of them holding each other, that's really cool. Check out that Titanfall art. Super nice. 
Also, these pens, they're like Apex pens. That's kind of cool. ABP, always be plugging Apex. Okay, so like, we don't really see any of her abilities throughout this trailer. Like, not- we see two abilities. I don't know which one's the ultimate or not, but I kind of don't know what they do at the moment. So, the first ability that we saw is we see this. She has like a battery integrity. I wonder if she has to like charge up or something. Like, maybe she has to like charge before she can use her ability. So, it's maybe a cooldown like that. And then these little drone things, it looks like they heal her teammates. So like she like gives them like a zuck and then bada bing bada boom good as new look at look at mirage being all good as new with this smirky little smirk otherwise i don't know what else she she'd be doing you know because the other thing she has is she uses these same drone things and then shoots out these orbs of shield trap things so like this little orb comes down explodes and then it like traps them so it makes you like slow so it's like a snare it seems very similar to ash's snare if that's the case i wonder if that's her ultimate then because that seems very overpowered just Forcing people to be stuck in an area, that can be really annoying and frustrating to deal with. We've already seen how Horizon's ultimate can be so meta-defining, just with a little bit of a suck. This is like even higher level. Also, I noticed she said Bangalore's voice line. So she, so she said Mozambique here, which is Lifeline's voice line. And then she said Bangalore's voice line as well. Right here, she says Bangalore's line. That's crazy. So she's just been like stealing people's voice lines left and right. That's... That's wild. Um, in general, I like her aesthetic. I like the color scheme. It's very vibrant, the blue and yellow. It's kind of funny. I think there's another Filipino character in Valorant that is also electricity related. Am I tripping? Yeah, Neon is also Filipino, has a very similar color scheme, and is electricity themed. That feels a little bit intentional, right? Am I tripping? That's so weird. If I had a nickel for every single time a Filipino character was blue and yellow and electricity themed, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot of nickels, but it's weird that it happened twice. Yeah, we, I gotta tweet that. I gotta tweet that like right now. If I had a nickel for every time a class-based shooter added a Filipino character whose main color scheme is blue and greenish yellow and also controls electricity, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot of nickels, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> I'm proud of this tweet, but you know, nobody follows my Twitter. So I guess the moral of the story is eat batteries, kids. For legal reasons, this is a joke. Please do not eat a battery. Like, come on, it's clearly a joke. Also, why did they do this like Five Nights at Freddy's type foxy jump scare? Like, what is this? It looks so off-putting. It doesn't even look like Apex animation style at this point. They kind of did her dirty here, let's be real. This image was like the thing they used to promote this trailer. Not a great look, let's be honest. Also, in terms of the map, I think the only big change that I noticed is that there's this like area here that's on a crane it looks like that's like hoisted in the air. I don't know where that is. It could be just like a broken area. It looks like they destroyed some of the area over here. So hopefully we're getting a new POI or a new, a new change up in Storm Point. Otherwise, I didn't really see any big changes or new hints at a POI. And there isn't any patch notes or anything to show us yet. So by Thursday, we'll know. So that's the Apex Legends Ignite launch trailer. What do you think about it? And what do you think about Conduit? Let me know in the comments down below what you think her abilities are going to be. And if you like the way that she's designed, just like based off this trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for vibing. And if this becomes a video, play the outro now. Yo, shout out Bella Porch for making me take forever to upload this stupid video.